Hey guys, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a little co-op tower defense game called Obelisk. Obelisk is a one to four player game where players are taking actions to try to capture these demons that are moving around the world using dice, which are obelisk, which are going to have a strength value that it's going to be equal to or greater than the monster value to capture them. And you're also trying to make sure that you're going to move tiles around so the monsters don't fall off the tiles. And you just want to make sure that you can capture everything else before somebody escapes. Simple game. Really fun. Spoiler. Let's go to the table, see how it plays. All right, so here is a game of Obelisk set up almost for a solo game. First thing you're gonna do for setup is you're gonna place all these tiles out in a five by five grid and any mountains that you have, you're going to remove. So let's go ahead and do that now. One, there should be four mountains. So you'll take all the mountains off. I'll show you what they look like in a second. And that's gonna make the board a little more difficult. So the mountains will say this, you can leave them on there as another lose condition, but let's not do that. All right, then they'll just go away. And then you're going to set up a dark realm, which says right here, dark realm. And you're gonna put a certain amount of demons in there. There are green demons, which are the weakest, yellow, which are the medium, and blue, which are the strongest, but are also wild. And you're gonna do that based on this setup guide for the number of players. So for an easy game or a hard game, you're gonna set up accordingly to the top. And then if in a solo game, which is what I'm playing right now, you're gonna get two random demons out of the supply box and they're gonna sit in the quarry, which will be used later in the game and I'll explain that to you as we go. Next, you are going to give each player, based on player order uh, or player count, the player turn order. So in a solo game, I get nine dice. You can see that in the bottom right and I get to take three actions of any of these four actions on my turn. Uh, you'll give each player a turn order card. On the back of this is also the strength and the speed of the monsters, but um, in the solo game, I'm just gonna have one of each, so I don't have to keep flipping. And then you're ready to go. Okay, so the, what we're trying to do to win this game is we're trying to get all the demons from the Dark Realm captured, which means we put Obelisk out on corners of of tiles and based on the strength of the monster and the pips on the die we can capture monsters and send them to the quarry to be used to upgrade obelisk later but we can lose in multiple ways we can lose by having a monster walk off the edge of the board or if they go in an infinite loop like say let's see yeah so say the monster started walking here and they kept walking around like this that would be an infinite loop and they would lose. There's one more lose condition and I can't remember what it is. So let me check that out real quick. I wanna make sure I'm giving you guys all the information. Um, no, that's it. Yeah, so they walk off the map an empty space or on mountains if you leave the mountains or they keep walking in an infinite loop. All right, so that's how you're gonna lose. That's how you're gonna win. And let's go ahead and play. So on, on your turn, you can do one of four actions. You can place an obelisk. To place an obelisk, you'll place a die pip value one in a corner of four different tiles. So say I put it uh, here. That would only let me actively be able to use three tiles because the space is empty. Now each tile, let's pick one up real quick. Let's pick this one up. Each tile has a different terrain and the die value is going to be either effective negatively or positively when you're trying to catch monsters in that area. So say I'm trying to catch a monster in the woods and I have a one die here, the woods are a negative one to dice value, so I wouldn't be able to catch any monsters because my die value is zero. And you have to be at at least a one to catch the little green guys. So yeah, you wanna be careful where you're building, but you also don't wanna build all your dice in one place because you're never gonna catch anything. Like these guys right here, the crystal gem areas, they, if I can pick it up, they negatively affect your dice by two, which that is no bueno, so yeah, you wouldn't be able, even be able to catch a blue guy because he's a strength of five on a gym area. So this is the portal, this tile. This is where monsters enter and they're gonna start walking 
around here. So that's what you can do. You can place an obelisk as one action. Second action, you can mine. What mining means is you get to take a green demon from the supply, turn it into stone, so you can use those to do another action, which I'll get to. Um, next thing you can rotate th in a, a solo game, you can rotate three tiles. So what that means is right here, when, when monsters come into this tile, they're going to walk immediately off the board. So in order for them not to do that, I have to rotate this tile facing another tile. So now they'll walk this direction. So then I have to make sure that this tile is facing another direction. Each tile can only be rotated once. That's the significance of these green chips. So say I rotated this tile, the chip would go away, and I know that I can never rotate that tile again. So that's rotating tiles. Pretty straightforward actions. Last action is where the quarry comes in and mining. So you can come down, uh, I'll show this to you actually closer. So you can upgrade your obelisk. So say I place this one out right here. I can upgrade my obelisk by trading in four green, demons that are in the quarry, three yellow demons, two blue demons, or blue can be considered wild and can be used with the other. So if I had two yellows and a blue, I could cash that in to upgrade it. Or I can discard another obelisk out of the game, and then this could be increased by two. So now I'm at a strength two. All the monsters have an odd number of strength, so a two is only going to catch ones. So it's in your best benefit to get these up to three and five as quick as you can. So those are the four actions. And then after the player takes their actions, we're going to go into the night phase, which is when demons spawn. They're going to move around the board, and you're going to catch your, capture any demons that you can with your obelisk. All right, so that's enough talking about it. I think that's a pretty decent overview. Let's play through a couple rounds and see what happens. Let's even this out because it's making me crazy. All right. All right, so now I'm going to take three actions on my turn. I can do the same action three times. I can do three different actions. doesn't matter. All right, so let's see. First thing I'm going to do is I need to rotate some tiles so I don't lose instantly. So I'm going to rotate this one. I can rotate three. I'll rotate this one. I'm going to rotate this one. So I want to have the longest path possible that these demons can walk. And I'm going to rotate this one this way. So now they're going to come in here. They're going to come up here and go to this tile. Okay, so that's one action. Next thing I want to do is some of these demons can move four. So if a green one comes out, it will be one, two, three, four, because the first space is spawning. Portal counts as one. Um, let's see. I'm just going to move some more tiles because I want to make sure that I don't die. So I'm going to rotate this one. I want to make a really long path. So there's one, two, and three. All right, so now when the monsters enter, they're going to go like this for right now. So I know I can plan out my path accordingly with obelisk if I want to, because I know they're going to come here and they're going to walk through this way to right there. Then they're going to come up here. So I know these seven tiles are the first of the paths. So that's at least two turns that I don't have to mess with with anybody dying. So that was two actions. Third one I'm going to do is I'm going to build an obelisk, and I'm going to build that obelisk right here mm, yeah right here so the reason I'm building it there is because this prairie land doesn't have any dice manipulation so it's just a one so I'd be able to catch demons more likely on this tile or on the portal because it's a uh, you know doesn't have any manipulator either more easily so that's what I'm gonna do that was my third action all right so now I'm moving on to nighttime any demons that are on the board you're gonna move the ones that are farthest away from the portal first, according to their speed, which blue moves two, yellow moves three, green moves four. Then, let's put it this way. Yeah. Then we're going to capture any that we can, but we can't. Third thing we're going to do is we are going to spawn a demon. So you're going to draw six out of this, the dark realm, and you're supposed to cover it up or somehow so you can't see, but I'm just going to hold it up so no one can see. So let's see, we got four. Six. All right, so we got four yellow ones, a blue one, and a green one. So then we're going to go one. Uh, green's going to move four, two, three. I can four, and then I can capture it right there because it's on this tile, and I can capture one. Each obelisk can only capture one demon, so that one, that obelisk is full. Yellow demons are going to move three, two, three, and then blue is going to move two. So there you go. 
All right. So then after that, you're going to get rid of any of the defeated demons, put them on the quarry to be used for resources later. And then you go back into the daytime. All right. So I got to take three more actions. Let's see. I probably need to get another obelisk out, but I'm going to mine actually. So I'm going to mine for another green. And then I'm going to place another obelisk over here because it'll be better to get some monsters when there's two planes. And then let's see, third action. I'm going to do another mine. It's good to have some of this stuff over here. Just, it's good. All right. So then now we're going to, we're in the night. I can capture any demons that I can. I can't right now because the strength has to be three, and but these are on a negative one. So the strength has to be four actually. Can't do it. Then we're going to start moving from the farthest away from the portal going forward. So yellow moves three, one, two, three. Blue moves two, one, two. Now if this die was a five, I could capture that, but I can't. So now we spawn new ones, six new ones. Two blues and a, two greens and a blue and a green. Blues are not good because they are really hard to capture. So, so one, green moves four, two, three, four, but I can capture one because I have a strength of one and green is a strength of one and these will move two. So they're right there. All right. So I get this guy over here and now we're moving on. All right. Back to daytime. Let's see here. First thing I want to do is I want to upgrade an obelisk. So let's see. I'm going to spend four of these. Oh man. This is terrible. Yeah. I'm going to spend four. I'll upgrade this to a two. Had to place an obelisk out because these guys are going to start coming around here. And it's super strong. I'll put it right here. So now I can catch two guys on this tile because it's touching both of these if I wanted to. And I have one more action. I need to rotate a tile or some of these guys are going to die. So one. Two. And I want to do this one this way. Three. I'm trying to make a really long path so I can get the stuff before they die. All right, so that's my third turn. Now we're back to night. So I can capture at any time. Do I want to capture? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and capture these two. So one there, one there. Now I can move. So yellow moves three. One, two, three. Blue moves two. One, two. One, two. Then we will spawn. Six new ones. Come on, green. Or yellow. Or two blues. Right. And let's see. Three more. Three blues. That's awesome. All right. So green will move four. One, two, three, four. And then blue will move two. Yellow will move three. All right. There we go. Now we go back on to another round. All right, so let's see. Oh, I gotta capture these guys. So these guys are free. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is, man, this is not good. I'm gonna put out an obelisk. I have to do tiles, so I'm gonna do these three. So one. two, three, and then I'm going to mine for a green guy. That'll help me later. All right, so before night starts, I'm gonna capture some guys. So I'm gonna capture, whoa. I moved that one, what, what, no, I didn't move that one. Nope. Right, so I'm capturing these two guys. Now, I'm not going to capture this guy because I can capture him over here. All right, so then we're going to move the yellow three. One, two, three. We'll move blue two. One, two. Move this four. One, two. Capture it here. Move blue two. One, two. Move three. One, two, three. Move two. One, two. All right. Then we're going to get six more. I'm probably going to die just because it's not looking good. I only have level ones out, and these guys are about to hit the end of the board, so... But you're getting the gist of how the game plays, so that's nice. All right, so I got four greens, a blue, and a yellow. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to capture this guy because I can. 
Blue goes two, yellow goes three. All right. So then I'll get these three demons, put them in the quarry. All right. Then let's see, back to the day round. This will be the last round that I'll play because I think you guys get the gist of the game and I'm probably going to die. So that's cool. Yep, I'm going to die. So once these guys walk here, I'm going to die. So I'm not going to worry about spinning that tile. One, two, uh, maybe not. Yeah, I can make it, I can make it work. So I'll take an action. One, two. So I do these two. And I'll spin. Just spin this one. It doesn't really matter because nothing can get there. But all right. Then I'm going to upgrade something. So let's upgrade this guy to a three. I spin in four greens. And then I have one more action. Put another obelisk out right here. All right. So then first thing I'm going to do is I can capture anything that I can capture. So let's see. I can do a three here. I can do a one here. That's all I can capture right now. Okay. So then I'm going to start moving. So one, two, three. All right. Still alive. Still alive. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. Um, one, two, one, two, three, but these are both getting captured. And then let's see, I spawned six more. Three, four, five, six. All right. So then we will move these three, two, and four. And I can't capture anything else. So anything that I captured will come off. To the quarry and then I'll play my last round because I will officially die this next round okay let's see all right so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna upgrade my dice twice so one oh, I guess I can only do one dang it that stinks That's one. Oh, I guess I can do one more. Nope, because I can only take three actions. Yeah, so I'll upgrade this one. Don't know why, because it's worthless. And then I will just mine again. All right, so then we're going to, I can capture anything I can capture, so let's see. I can capture this guy. I can capture this one. Um, and that's it. So I would officially die here. This will move two. One, two, three. Two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I can capture that. One, two. There's only six left. So they would come out. I'm already dead. I'm just showing you still. So this is four. This is three. And I can't capture anything else. So I died because four guys hit the table and they escaped. Demons rule the world. So that is how you play Obelisk. So let's go to the top. See what I think about it. All right, so that was Obelisk. As you can see, this game is super simple, but yet very impossible. I've played this game probably three, four, five times solo. Every time I got destroyed. It doesn't seem like it should be that difficult because all you have to do is move the tiles and up the value of your Obelisk so you can catch the demons as they're walking around. But those blue demons are tough. Getting a die up to five and strategically placing it out on the board, which is set up randomly, is very difficult. Like, I haven't ever lost as fast as I lost during the playthrough. So, that being said, this is a fun game. I like the artwork. It's kind of like abstract artwork that I kind of dig because it's an abstract game, in a sense. So, if you're a fan of co-ops and you're a fan of interesting mechanisms with dice, if you like tower defense games, then this is a game you should definitely check out. And I approve of this game. I'm going to go ahead and give it a BGM accepted rating. And so it's probably not one that I'll play a ton because I'm not huge into co-ops, but I highly recommend this game. And if it seems like it's cool to you, go check it out. I'll post a link in the description of where you can find it and when it's available and all that. So yeah, I'm Jason. This is the Board Game Mechanics. This is a review for Obelisk. And keep gaming. Yeah.